Cats are lovable and playful creatures, but their mischievous behavior can sometimes cause frustration for their owners. One common issue that cat owners face is when their feline friend starts peeing on the bed. There could be several reasons your cat is doing this, and understanding these can help prevent it from happening again. A urinary tract infection is one possible reason your cat is peeing on your bed. Cats with this condition experience pain while urinating and may associate the discomfort with their litter box, causing them to avoid it and find a new spot to relieve themselves. If you suspect your cat has a urinary tract infection, you must take them to the vet for a proper diagnosis and treatment. Another reason your cat may be peeing on your bed is stress or anxiety. Changes in their environment, such as moving to a new home or introducing a new pet, can cause stress in cats. When cats feel stressed, they may start to exhibit behavior such as peeing outside the litter box. You can provide them with a quiet space, plenty of playtimes, and regular grooming to alleviate their stress. In some cases, cats may also pee on your bed as a form of territorial marking. They do this to claim their space and make it smell like them, which can be especially common if other pets are in the household. In this case, it's essential to provide each pet with its designated area and avoid disrupting their routines. Lastly, cats may start peeing on your bed because they associate it with you. Cats are social creatures and may see your bed as a place to be close to you. If this is the case, you can discourage this behavior by making your bed less attractive to them, such as using a repellent spray or keeping your door closed. In conclusion, there are several reasons your cat may be peeing on your bed, and understanding the cause can help you find the best solution. Whether it's due to a urinary tract infection, stress, territorial marking, or simply a desire to be close to you, it's important to address the issue as soon as possible to prevent it from becoming a chronic problem. If unsure of the cause, it's always a good idea to consult your veterinarian for further guidance. Please like and subscribe.